going on today we got to play Big Easy Buzz King. So this is a Mardi Gras themed game and Mardi Gras coming up. Yep, so we thought on. we would get it out and give it a playthrough. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because board games are amazing and that's what we do. And throw us some beads. Yes. We're only going to do board game reviews for them though. Yeah. <laughs> So, Randy, can you tell us a little bit more about the game? I know it's from Weird Draft Games. They're amazing to work with. Can you tell us a little bit more about this yeah, game? Yeah, this was a 2020 release. Uh, the rating on Board Game Geek is 6.9 currently, and rank is currently 10,194. It's a one to five player game, average length of 45 to 60 minutes, which is probably about right. Age eight and up, designed by Joshua J. Mills. Art by Adrian Ezel and Andrew Thompson. As you mentioned, published by Weird Draft Games. Now, this is the deluxe version, uh, which we'll go into what makes it deluxe here in a minute. But uh, the, the only ones I'm seeing on sale are the retail versions, which are, I'm finding it at Noble Games for $20.95. On eBay, it's listed for $19.99 with free shipping right now. So that's probably the best price I saw was actually on eBay. Surprisingly, uh, Board Game Bliss has it for twenty one seventy nine. Now Amazon does have the deluxe bits that you can add to make it the deluxe version for nine dollars with Prime shipping. So if you wanted to get the base game somewhere and then add on the bits for nine bucks, you could make it the deluxe. And then uh, the base game on Amazon is twenty four ten. And then if you buy this direct from Weird Giraffe, it's twenty five dollars. But I think it's just the base game. It didn't mention deluxe. Okay, all right, so let's talk about the quality of components. So um, we, all the players get energy tokens, yeah, right? No, and normally, they're all shaped well, differently. In cubes normally, cubes in retail. Normally, this yes. is one of the deluxe bits. So all the bits are shaped custom based upon the player suits. All the suits' colors don't match with the colors of your player sheets, which was Mine does. Yeah, well, they had a purple, so I gave you full purple for everything, but they did not have a blue to go with my blue. But interestingly, this is probably the only game that exists where you can play as the state of Louisiana. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Uh, they have alligators, and they have saxophones and trumpets. Oh, the alligators would have been cool. But so. yeah, yeah the, the state of Louisiana is pretty amazing. Yeah, so, all right. Um, Overall, uh, card quality. It's linen. It's got a slight linen finish, but it's really yeah. thin. But they do, and the deluxe have sleeves for all the cards. And they have a really cool backing yeah, for the, the sleeves yeah, too. Like, well, we'll get into the, the the theme later, but the colors are very pretty. Yeah. So um, that's that's good. What are you thinking for score wise for um, quality of components? Probably just if you were just the base game, I would probably just give it a five. I don't think there's anything outstanding, but with the custom little meeples and the sleeve it's included and um i'd probably go ahead and give this probably a six six point five somewhere in there yeah i can agree with that one but at that price yeah. point it makes a lot of sense yeah so. oh i will point out they also have coins the coins are cardboard we weren't impressed with them as far as we always use our Andy poker chip Honestly, points. I don't know if games have money anymore because we always <laughs> use the same chips. Randy just pulls them out and I just nod. Yeah, anytime there's not metal coins included, we always go to the poker chips. Yeah, no, that's Randy's decision, not mine. I just show up when I when we're using not poker chips. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> uh, all right, so let's move on to the theme. So the theme is Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. You are a band and you're going to be playing some music at different venues. And you're trying to make sure that the crowd loves you the most compared to all your other competitors. Um, it's kind of cool. The mm -hmm. art is freaking gorgeous. It's beautiful colors. Uh, it's, yeah, yes. The art style is really cool on the different locales for the crowd cards. And you know, the yeah, the colors are just very vibrant. It's one of the, the probably one of the brightest colors palettes I've seen. Well, you know, it, it fits the Mardi Gras feel, mm -hmm. but like, I mean, but the art style too is just so much fun. Mm -hmm. And, you know, absolutely gorgeous. It definitely feels like, you know, I'm, I'm there. And so yeah. it's it's a lot of fun and I'm it's gorgeous. Um, score wise, what are you thinking for theme? I do think that there's a little bit of the component, right? You're going to different locations. Mm -hmm. You are, you know, completing music. You're buying song cards. You're, your band's learning it. Um, what are you thinking, though, for I'm probably theme? about a seven and a half, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the theme is fun. It's, you know, very... Uh, 
it's not, I mean, it's not heavy into the gameplay, but it is there. And, you know, just, it's really the colors that just bring it out. I mean, it's, it definitely sucks you in with all the colors. Yeah, I, I love the colors. Um, all right, so let's move on to the rule book. How did you feel about the rule book? Oh, so the rule book has a nice cover. It matches the box, and it is 16 pages, but it's got, you know, the two of those, the cover and the back quick start guide on the back. They, you know, Weird Giraffe always does a great job trying to get you into the game as quick as possible. So they give you the option right on the cover of going to, to watch a video about how to play the game. And then also what's really cool about this game, and I wish I would have thought about putting it on, is they have a soundtrack for this game to play while you're playing it that gives you the sounds of jazz music and such from uh, Spotify. And it's, they've got the link to that on the cover, too. So I should have turned that on while you're playing because I, I, I really want to check that out. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's just they really do a good job trying to get you into the game as quick as possible. Uh, it's got nice pictures in here to show I you. I love our cheat sheets. Yeah. Those are wonderful. They, they always do a great job on the cheat sheets. They're very concise, but they get you all the things you need. Uh, the scoring is not on there, though. It's got all the turn sequence and turn you know, bits, but they don't show the scoring. Well, that's what you're for. But the scoring in this is basically just add up your coins and whoever has the most wins, except for, you know, there's tiebreakers. So, um, you know, I think they've done a nice job. The book is very colorful, too. It's got all the different rainbow colors in here. Um, yeah, and it's sectioned nicely. I'll probably go ahead and give this an eight and a half because mm -hmm. I really like the fact that they give you the options on how to get into it. They got the quick start in case you want to jump right in reading the rules quickly. Uh, they got the te teaching you how to play on the front. I, it's and the cheat sheets. I mean, it, yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine actually. I think because of that. I mean, they've done a great job. I was gonna say I'm good at a nine because these cheat sheets. I didn't have to listen to Randy at all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now let's move on to the actual gameplay. So the gameplay starts with that you each get three different songs, okay? And your board, so you're going to have four energy starting out with mm -hmm. each of it, okay? Yeah, I will point out every song has its own unique name, and they're named, you know, referenced to the town, you know, city of New Orleans. So yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, again, that goes with the theme, and I think it's uh, great. So you have four energy. You're going to get your energy out, Randy. Oh, my energy is all over here. <laughs> all right. So basically, um, the first thing that you would do in a turn, but we don't have any out right now, is you would finish the song if you had already started a song. That's not the case, so we'll go over that here in a little bit in a minute. The next thing I can do is I can end up learning a song, okay? So I know my hand's not... Uh, I got, I got a hand, but I maybe want something additional. Um, so I'm going to learn a song. So I'm going to take one off of each of my instruments because it takes time to learn a song. I'm going to put them back in my supply. This is very important. Um, and then I am going to pick up, I'll pick up this wild card here. Okay. So that is one thing I can do. Now, since I took my action, my turn is now over, yeah. and it's going to go over to Randy. Now, Randy, there, what are you going to do next? In the row, on the on the top, there's three cards that you can learn uh, as far as songs. And then below that, there's three songs that are commonly known songs that you can perform at your leisure. So those are always available to you without having to learn the song. You can actually perform that or the ones in your hand. So you have the option either way. But those cost you an extra either energy or a coin to play, and then they go up the next time they're used for that round. And um, some have special abilities. Yes. Now I'm going, I given that I have the action and choice of purchasing or learning a song, or I can play one, I'm gonna go ahead and play one. So there's three locations out and they have icons on them. So th this one has a mask. And so these are, I think the mask for some reason is like the calm song. I don't know why. I wouldn't be thinking if you're wearing a mask, it's a calm song. Well, it's definitely not the hard and it's yeah. definitely not the so bright yeah, beads. You got the beads, which is the upscale wild songs. And then the, the, the heart, I guess the love songs. And then you've got a fuller de Lee, which is wild. It can be any kind of song that will match there. So I'm going to play, since there's no hearts out, I'm going to play my heart to the wild location. And it costs one of each to play on this case. So I'm playing one from each of my instruments and putting them on the card. So now at the beginning of the next, my next turn, I'll have to resolve my playing of that song. It will finish. Okay. All right. So um, now 
it's my turn. Again, I don't have any songs, so I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to actually end up choosing to play a song here. I'm going to do the same thing that Randy did is my play my heart, but my heart is a little more expensive. I took it from the wrong one. Your heart is more expensive than mine. Yeah, because I have four. Exactly. <laughs> it's got more years left on it. <laughs> All right. So um, so then that will be my turn. Randy, your turn. All right. So now, I first thing I have to do, as I mentioned, I have to resolve my song. It's finished. So my options are, since I match the icon, in this case, because it's wild, I, I have the option. I can put all of my, uh, my energy onto the card, into to the crowd, and if I do that, I get a coin from the bank as a bonus. Which means a victory point. Right. I didn't realize that I was all spinning on my victory points. Also, I have three, basically, energy towards that location, because this is all about winning at locations. And the location in this case has a, a reward of three money for whoever has the most energy at that location. And if you have at least one, you're going to get a dollar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put all my energy into that location. I'll get a dollar. I'm not going to bring it because it's across the table, but I would have an extra dollar from doing that. Okay. And then he's going to put this over right. in his play pile because at that's, the end of the round, he will be end up picking up right. all those but cards. But that's, that's not my action. That's just the first part of the right. phase. Now... I have the option. I've got three energy left over in my reserve. I can tip my band, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to pay three money, and I'm going to take the last three energy out of my resource pool, and I'm just going to spread it evenly across. So everybody's got the same energy again from the start. So now I can use those towards fulfilling additional songs. So now for my actual action, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to acquire that song because it's cheap over there at only one uh, saxophone and one trumpet. So I have to pay one from each again, back to the supply, and I will take this last song over here that came up, and it has beads on it, so since we have beads out there, I can actually play it later onto that. All right, um, so um, now it is my turn, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. finish my song. Now, Randy put okay. all of his on there to get a coin. However, I'm not gonna do that for on something um, that worth at this value because if I only have one, I only get one. So I'm just going to leave only one um, and I can do that. And then I'm going to put the three, however I want to put the three back into my pile. And then I'm going to take the song. So I don't get a victory point because I didn't play anything there, but at least I'm on there to get the um, money um, at the end of the round for that right. particular piece. Now, it, so you keep playing. Um, everyone gets their turn. You keep playing until you have to pass until you have no more workers, no more money or something that prevents you from moving forward in the game. Um, once that occurs, you stop, the other person, keep, the other people keep going until everyone has to pass. And then we move on to the next round by resetting your board with four energy, well, um, picking up you your You first hand. score each of the crowd locations. Right. So you would go down each line and whoever had the most. So we'll score towards... this one right here because. Yeah. So I've got stuff. three and you've got one. So since I have the most, I would get the three money as a bonus. And then, but we both have enough to meet the, the qualification for having at least some energy here. So we would both get a dollar. So I would get $4, you'd get a dollar. As the victor here, I would get the token. These tokens really don't add value at the end, except for in tiebreaker cases, but it's nice to have them. So the energy goes back to the supply, and then this, you know we would resolve each location the same way, and then we would put out additional locations again. We'd replace the ones that were there with four next time. And it goes from three the first round, four, then the third round and final round is five. So there's three rounds in the game. And then we figure out who has the most money. If there's a tie, then you move on to the number of cards you have and that's acquired, the, first the number player. of songs. So, well, yeah, at the end of the round, that's the final scoring. At the end of the round, it's for money first, and then these tokens come second this time. Yeah, round. okay. Yeah, and then that's the person who gets to take it for the next round. Um, so three rounds total. Um, overall, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I mean, this was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It, um, I mean, it's, a, it's an area control game, which is kind of surprising that you actually like that. Yeah, no, I'm playing like, songs. Okay. But uh, I, I think that the, this songs. this was okay at two. I think it's going to be better with three, four, or five because you're going to have more competition at each of the locations. Yes, I do felt, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with you. I think, no, two was fine. Um, I would play it again at two. 
but I do think it will probably have a sweet spot around three and four, um, just because the competition will be a little steeper, um, you know, and um, battling with Randy on area control can be sometimes a little bit difficult when you don't have other people there to distract him. So <laughs> um, let's talk about scoring though. What would you think for a score for this? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a light, portable, easy to learn, easy to teach game. This is definitely an in entry level game. The fact that it has all the thematics incorporated into it with the, even if, especially if you put the music onto it, I think that's a really cool attribute. Uh, I'm probably gonna give this, I'm probably give it a seven. I think for a entry level area control game, I think this is fun. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I think I had a lot of fun. Um, you know, I could definitely, this could be very thematic. You put on the music, I could definitely, you know, put and get some Mardi Gras beans to give to players, you know, just have a little fun with it. I think it'd be a fun little game yeah. night. Um, so yeah, I agree with this. I agree with that score. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We had an absolute blast and hopefully you'll come hang out with us again. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.